Hello, and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. If it sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today, we're going to continue to explore the gameplay of the tenants, so let's dive in. One of our tenants here on Ferry Street wants to be a pop star, and he wants us to put some music equipment into his bedroom, try to pick up a new hobby, so get Uncle Steve clean out the apartment. Let's get to renovating this place. Okay, I'm not sure which bedroom needs to be renovated. Is it this one or this one? It looks to be this one right here, the big red room. He wants us to finish the walls in a green. Let's do the jungle pattern for him. He wants another acoustic panel in here. Let's do a $60 acoustic panel. Let me move his You Are Breathtaking poster. Oops. I'm gonna put this acoustic panel right here. He probably doesn't want to hear the shower running. Uh, Lauren Middleton has a problem with her electronic equipment. Could you do something about it? Yeah, I'm gonna send in Uncle Steve. Well, here's Uncle Steve. See if you can repair that refrigerator, Uncle Steve. He was able to do that, so thanks, Uncle Steve. Not bad, this guy knows his stuff. Say the girls over at Boring Lane. Let's get back to Ferry Street to renovate this guy's bedroom. Okay, so he wants a piano in here and a gramophone. Oh, he wants the expensive piano. Okay, we'll put the expensive piano in here. I'm selling this fan. He wants a chair. I'll give him this pelt chair for his jungle. I'll put that right there. We'll just say that that's the chair he uses to play his piano. He wants a speaker. He's gonna get this wall-mounted speaker right there. And he's gonna get a wall-mounted speaker over his bed. I'm gonna give him back his cactus and put that right there. Let's see if I can deliver this job. I can. And he says, nice stuff. Enjoying the refreshed look. Our monthly cash flow. We're having a problem here. We have gone up negative 10. Don't know why that is. Looks like everybody's paying their bills on time. So I don't know what caused that. We were able to re renovate the bedroom for our tenant. Let's find a job for us because renovating that bedroom hit our personal cash. Miriam Finley at Sycamore Circle 13 is looking for a designer to do a total makeover of our apartment so that it fits our needs requirement total makeover budget twelve thousand four hundred dollars let's accept that job because it's gonna pay seven thousand and fifty dollars so let's head on over to sycamore circle 13 here we are at sycamore circle 13 we're gonna send in uncle steve to begin cleaning have him try to restore that clean that up i'm gonna have him try to restore that couch as well uncle steve's doing a really good job i'm gonna have him sell this table and I might just leave that couch there. Okay, head on out, Uncle Steve. Let's get to beginning the renovation of this cozy, spacious flat. They want a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. They want us to focus on the floors and decor, and they don't mind the first impression. Lauren Middleton sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Lauren. I'm gonna do the bathroom right here. Do the bedroom right here. Do some doors. I need actual doors. I'm going to put this actual door in. This actual door in. The bathroom first. They want a laminate floor. They want us to focus on the floor. So I'm going to do the $50 laminate in here. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. They want red walls. I'm going to do this deep red wall in here. They want a shower cabin. I'm just going to give them this pigeon shower cabin. Shower cabin right there. I can. They can squeeze their little bodies in there. I'm going to put the pigeon toilet way over here. Lewis Carlson sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Lewis. I'm going to give him the well sink. If they want a toilet brush, I'm going to give him the $45 toilet brush right there. They want this toilet paper contraption, so I will put that right under the window. Oh, it's blocking the toilet. Yes, I'll put it right next to the toilet. And I'll move this toilet brush on the other side. So we don't want dirty toilet brush toilet water on our toilet paper okay so we are off to the bedroom they want hardwood or linoleum i'm going to give them these 50 dollars ash panels on the floor and they want green or yellow walls i'll give them this 50 dollars yellow wall i'm going to give them this 599 dollar corner bed and they want wall decor i'll give them the assault rifle over the bed. So they gotta get up and shoot whoever's coming in their room. They can do it. Now we're into the kitchen. They want a fridge and a cooker and they want hardwood floors. Give them the hardwood floor panels that are the same ones that are in the bedroom. I'm gonna give them these crazy gray check walls. So I got this whole corner to work with to be their kitchen. They want a fridge. I'm gonna give them the $1,099 fridge. Or I can give them this $999 shoal cooker. That's all they really, really want. And they want us to focus on the decor, though. So it looks like we're going to actually have to give them some stuffing. 
We can give him a dishwasher. We can give him a coffee maker. And I'll give him a bar stool. They didn't say they wanted a kitchen cabinet. Ooh, what's this? Useful for keeping cooking orders at bay. Cooked with LED lights and charcoal filters. Pretty interesting. Uh, I'm gonna give them um, a greeny toaster. They want this purple dining room thing. So we'll do that right there. Agnes sent us the money for the period. I'm gonna give them two potato chip chairs. Put a rubber plant in the corner over here. Give them these lights over their cabinet. 86% in the kitchen and 100% in the bedroom. So we're just working on the kitchen. I could give them this plant holder. Wonder if I can actually put plants on it. I'll put the plant holder over here in this corner. Got this $82 plant. Oh, I can. Look at that. That's amazing. $75 ficus on it. We are at 97%. I think I'm going to deliver the job at 97%. She's coming in and she's going over to the plants. And she's looking at that ficus and she's thinking, I love this ficus. And she's walking around the room. She's going into the bathroom and she's looking at the toilet brush and she likes it. Declan McLean has sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Declan. She's looking at the coffee maker on the counter and she's loving it. She loves her ficus and her coffee. She's looking at the overall decor of the flat and she is thinking she just loves it. Here is our review for the flat at Sycamore Circle 13. Miriam Finley gave us five stars. She thought only her brother-in-law could do such miracles with a putty knife and a paint roller. It's better than I could have imagined. Excellent work needs to be rewarded. Acquired furnishings. Selected pieces of furnishings weren't too fashionable. We got four stars. Preferred furnishings. Five stars. No issues. Floors. Five stars. No issues walls five stars no issues core five stars no issue first impression five stars no issues we got a bonus of one thousand four hundred and ten dollars we got a total payout for that job of eight thousand four hundred and sixty dollars I'm really not happy oh she's gone up a bit they've gone up a bit okay so she is a 54 happiness she was a 50 before Lauren is a 60 Amy's a 62 Agnes is 50 and Lewis Carlson who we just fixed his bedroom is loving us at 73 so I'm wondering if we can work on Agnes over here Agnes Gentry this place is a mess so let's begin cleaning okay Uncle Steve this flat gets reported to the building manager that it smells so I don't want to have problems with rats and roaches. Maybe cleaning up the flat will give her a better impression of us. Let's see what Agnes likes. Agnes likes veggie food, magazine, and music. We can't give her any gifts. But it looks like the radiator is broken. And they're yelling about it. Amy McCulloch says, my heater st stopped working. And Agnes says, my heater stopped working. We're sending in a pro. I answered Agnes because I wanted to have a better reputation with Agnes. And they're waiting for the pro to show up. They're both very happy. Thanks, now I can walk around without a scarf in the apartment. So the pro has come. Zara has just sent us money for the period. Let's see how our rating with Agnes is. 58, it's gone up a bit. Okay, so our tenants are at least above 50 now so I'm pretty happy with that. Amy McCulloch is really loving us at a 77 and Lewis Carlson is loving us at a 72. We're getting a little bit better with getting our tenants to like us. So I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey to create his landlord empire. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.